Hello beautiful people, welcome back to New Face Entertainment, we well, thank you, we appreciate you for coming and also for those who are coming for the first time, please hit the red subscribe button and God will continue to bless you in all your endeavors. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Niji, Moses, elder sister, so well, I would have loved to not um, take up the whole day or part of your day today to talk about things concerning my brother, but I feel like I would have I'm being a very terrible sister or sibling to my brother if I don't talk about um, some of these negative things that have been going on about him, especially today and somehow throughout this week. So, um, first of all, we're all human. We all have our weaknesses, our strengths. We all have certain things about us that make us um, stand out to, to people, good, bad. And in some cases, things are not necessarily bad, but maybe for some reason, people don't like the fact that we are that way. And in this case, I know we all know what I'm talking about with my brother. Now, um, I sometimes I want to remind people that we, on the outside, we're living in the real world. The Big Brother house for everything that it is, and it's good, it's a great platform, it's honestly something that we're very grateful that he um, got into because it's been a platform for many young people trying to start off their lives and kick off their careers but it has a disadvantage that sometimes we don't really acknowledge and that's the fact that it's an alternate universe that is played out in front of the camera for people in the real world to see so most of the, the time we find ourselves judging these people in that house with the same yardstick that will judge people in the real world now one thing that the real world has that out there that in there they don't have because i mean it's they look like they are in a more advantageous position because you know they, it's a fancy house it's nice they always have lights <laughs> there's always food you know but they don't have their social support system the human being is created to love the fact that we are not alone we have sisters brothers friends all of that we have people who surround us that make those things about ourselves that are not necessarily the best or not necessarily the strongest things or the things that make us vulnerable, those things are the reasons we have a control or a hold over them. Where normally, maybe instead of this thing to be showing in that exposed form as we're showing, we would call our uncle or sister or friend or something and then we talk to these people and these are people who genuinely love us, not people we just met like weeks ago and all of that inside the house and have formed friendships with that are also equally as important but these are people who have known us from the beginning of when we're growing and knowing what we are who we are learning to love us for who we are through and through these things sometimes are taken for granted these people in that house every single one of them they don't have that now some of them are lucky enough to at least still be able to you know, not really show this weaknesses and maybe every aspect of their life somehow happens to play out in the exact amount that people on the outside don't really see as being problematic. But once in a while you find other people who somehow this house has brought that raw, unexposed side of them out so much that the people on the outside are not like, you know, what is wrong with this person and all of that. And in this life, we all want to be judged mostly for our strengths and not our weakness because guess what? We all have them. There's not a single one of us that if I were to turn the camera to all our lives on a daily basis, we wouldn't be dragged for something or the other. And most importantly, if we're in the same position that they all are in now, where we don't have the people that we normally turn to to help us through certain difficult things and all of that to talk to, they don't even have a clock or there's no way to know. I mean, 24 hours feel, will feel like 24 hours when you know the time. But what, you would never really know how different 24 hours you feel when you just have to guess what time of the day it is and what day of the week it is and all of that. It's honestly not easy and taking that for granted is one of the reasons we find it hard to understand how these people sometimes go in there and it seems like you're like, I mean, you should know this, you should be like this, you should live your life like this. Most of the time we're saying that and we're doing that lying next to our husbands our sisters, our mothers, our friends and all of that, people who honestly are the people who give us that strength to break through some of the most difficult things and emotions and how capable and how strong we are. My brother grew up with three sisters and a mother, so he's always learned compassion, care, concern and compassion. These are the three strongest emotions that drive him and sometimes can be seen as a weakness for him. 
but he's used to sharing all of that among his sisters, his mom, his friends. And the number of people he has bonded with in that house are very small. And so somehow he has to dissipate that amount of care, concern, and attention among a, a small number of people. It would not be the same thing. So it's honestly mind boggling that people are twisting that into this negative, ugly thing. Like people calling him pre, pest, some people saying get a restraining order. Somebody even went as far as tagging that he should have been aborted. Truly, some of the meanest things over something that is seen as being so terrible that globally, I mean, it's not honestly the worst thing a person could possibly do to someone. This is somebody who time and time again has delivered on presentations, versatility, team spirit, shown that he cares and genuinely can work with anyone to produce the best possible thing he can produce for anybody who he's working for or under his employee. And this time and time again delivered winning games, his knowledge of the things that he knows, his trivia of sports, all of that, always constantly delivering back to back to back. And then one thing is perceived as being out of place and we wipe all the good things he has done, wipe it all off and turn him to be this horrible person. This video is honestly longer than I would want it to be, but I don't think it's possible for me to get along that message that I want to get along to everyone to try to remind that we are all human. We are all flawed. We are all with our strengths, with our weaknesses. But we have the good fortune of not being filmed and photographed for the world to see and being around all elements of our social support. So please, along with the hate, we've definitely seen all the love and we are very grateful to all people who have stood by him through all of this, loving him and all of that. Now, no one is forcing you to like him. Hell, this video will probably still get bashed because not everybody is a preacher of love. You don't have to love, but you have to honestly ask yourself this question. What Would you really do things that completely different if you were in that same position? Would you honestly be so certain that not even one single thing about you is going to walk people off the, the wrong way? And truly, does the crime really fit the punishment that he's, he's getting? Is it really a crime that, you know, what you see, what you don't like about this guy, does it really warrant him being called some of the ugliest things possible to call a person? If you can answer all of that and honestly you still want to drag and throw slander and throw hate, that's fine. Really. God will keep blessing you and keep blessing you. But to all the people who have honestly not understood what is going on and all of that, just understand that you can't really because you are not in that position. So please, we beg that you keep supporting and we beg you to please try to be human and most importantly spread love, not hate. Thank you so much for everything. We love you and God bless you. Please subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Subscribe. Share this video. Subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends to subscribe to this ch channel. Subscribe to this channel is very, very.